y'all brought an uh, individual in that ain't never gonna get paid because it's illegal. I told y'all that already. They ain't never gonna get paid. Four hundred dollars. This lady put in her paperwork. Four hundred dollars an hour. An hour, guys. Where they do that at? So for those that don't understand, and y'all math ain't mathing, four hundred dollars an hour is a hundred dollars every fifteen minutes. To do what? Light foot in. Come on. Really stop it. You know the rules. You especially because you was a uh, um a mayor. You was past ten was. Brandy, come get your girl. Y'all can see I am so family oriented. I care about the youth. This is what they don't tell you or what they don't show you. The youth is everything, and y'all have to pass the baton. I don't care about all the hate that they spelling because at the end of the day, you got to leave with love. When you leave with love, you will always go further in life because at the end of the day, that's what we need in this world, love. It's so much hate that it don't make no sense. But I want the kids to see their super mayor still standing throughout all the controversy. Their super mayor that's touchable, reachable, and you can talk to me when you see me. So that's what I try to show them. And the kids ain't did nothing but just uh, love back on me like I love on them. So I appreciate you all for coming out. I'm just showing you, like, look. Nothing but kids out here. And I want people to know that you can bring your kids to any event that I host. Any event that I host. All the events that I host. All the events. Uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, 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 what? Yeah. All the events that I host, bring your kids. You don't need no babysitter. You gotta drop them off. I make sure it's possible that you can actually them go run around and wear they step out. And then when they get home, they just drop. Just you know, you know the parents too, so I know what that feel like. So bring them out, have a good time, come and learn something, and come always make sure you got facts versus fiction. Because at the end of the day, my work speaks for itself. And I've been showing y'all, but at the end of the day, you gotta want to see what it is that I truly do. It's just love on the community. And remember this, because you know election time coming up. Remember this. You ain't never seen none of these elected officials in your life, or people that want to be these posers. I can't stand a fake politician. They only come up and show up when it's time to run. They ain't done nothing for four years. Four years that went by, y'all. Four years. And they ain't done nothing but keep up chaos. Keep up division. Keep up controversy. Pay attention to that. Focus on those that's doing the work for you. Everybody, I hope you guys can hear me. Let me know in the chat if y'all can hear me. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm just using my computer audio. If y'all can't hear me, I will jump on my um my AirPods. <laughs> All right. I, you know what? I'm proud of myself. I said we were starting at six by hook or crook. We was here at six o'clock. Music starting. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So it is a lot to talk about right now. Um, it's a lot of nonsense going on in the political sphere, right? And even on social media. And so I thought I wanted to name this show The City Girls Down Bad. Because as we all know, Carisha from, you know, Carisha Please, Diddy's Boo. She's been out here copping, please, and crying. Um, she spoke about her situation with Diddy and how, you know, she wasn't treated like that. And we all know that at one point, she thought she had it made in the shade. Let's keep it real. She thought she didn't need the city girl. She didn't need JT. Everything, you know, she was living a life because she was under the cult of personality of Diddy. And she even said in the interview that, you know, when she got with Diddy, he was beloved by everybody. Not everybody. Not me and not many others. The people who had common sense, who've seen Diddy's ways, we steered clear of him. But the industry, they did uplift him. He was given all types of awards. Hell, he was given the seat to the, to the city of New York after this man has caused so much chaos. So this is what this show is about. It's about the call to personality. 
and how people fall in love with personalities and never get to know the real people underneath. Another hot girl, AKA city girl, that's been out here just wrecking havoc on her city is Tiffany Heiner, uh, Henyard, who is the mayor, current mayor still, of Dalton, Illinois. And she's basically ran that city into the ground. Their money has been squandered. The fire department can't even afford to like pay for stuff. Um, the school system is failing. There's all types of money that the city owes that's not able to be covered because the mayor, AKA Ava Coleman, if you guys watch Abbott Elementary, that is who Tiffany reminds me of. She reminds me of the principal. Somebody brought that to my attention. I was like, you know what? She really does. If you watch how that principal behaves on Abbott Elementary, that's exactly how Tiffany Henyard carries herself and behaves. She dresses like her, looks like her. The hair, she literally is a real life Ava. She really is. So it's, it's like this world is literally a stage. None of it makes sense to me. So feel free to jump into the chat. The chat is up and popping. So there's people discussing things in the chat. If you want to come up here and talk, I want to know, you know, since we haven't done a call-in show in a few weeks, I want to know y'all's opinion on Carisha's interview about Diddy. Do y'all feel bad for her? Were y'all buying the crocodile tears? Or do you feel like she's trying to cop please now because that money's funny? And then also, how do y'all feel about the other city girl? The mayor, Tiffany, and what she's done to the city of Dalton. And do you feel like it's solely her fault or there's more people? Because, um, you know, the, the people that city voted her in, then they try to vote her out, but they kept her. So something's not cleaning the buttermilk. So we're going to start taking calls. I'm going to start bringing people up. Um, just raise your hand. Hi, T. This is hey, Shay with Love. Love. Shay with Love from Discord, all, all the platforms. But um, I wanted to comment on the Carisha issue. Mm -hmm. um, so I noticed in her interview, because I did, you know, I watched it and I saw while she answered a lot of things, she skirted around the main issue of, of you know, like, oh, I wasn't around for A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. But she didn't address what he was, what he was accused of. At all, she didn't right. address what he was accused of. She didn't. He never denounced it. Did you notice? Yeah. She never denounced. Okay, fine. He didn't whoop your ass, but what about that video of him whooping Cassie? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the fact that she put it on his platform says a lot. It says a lot. She's still caping for Diddy. She's still his, you know, his beard at this point. You know, it's like so. What has she got going on in the background with him? that she felt comfortable enough to go and speak on it. I, he had to tell her it was okay. He had to tell her like, yeah, you know, go ahead and do this for me and let's stick, mention this, mention this, but this is the new love. You know, this is the new, let's stick with the new, the new Diddy love. Let's not talk about the past. She didn't mm -hmm. address, she just addressed absolutely anything. Her comments that she said, I wish he would have said something about the things she said over her social media platform. I right. wish she really, really would have went into those things that she said. She said disgusting, foul things, like you said, that spoke to her character. What was going on behind the bedroom? You feel everybody was willing to get down, like how you was how he's get down just because y'all was all having fun. He's still still clearly involved in drugs and and sex. That's how I feel. Is if the fact that she said that you know she was gonna make the girl eat her out, basically. Mm -hmm. And that she's going to make Diddy make her. Yeah, make Diddy. Mm -hmm. That she was going to tell Diddy to to do it, to tell her to do her. So she said a lot without saying it. So it was cute that her friend was up there and everything. She skirted around the issue to say to save face. She still, you know, went on the platform. That says a lot about that. And then mm -hmm. she's still, you know, she's still on his side. Like, you know, that's not the person I knew. I don't know about back then, but that's not the person that I knew. So I didn't, I didn't like that at all. So and now then, how do you feel about the mayor? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> mayor Tiffany. Did you get a chance to watch that video? Yes. Mm -hmm. I watched the video. <laughs> I watched it. To be honest, T, I didn't know who she <laughs> was at all. I've heard about her. Like you said, I just heard, you know, like this loud mayor or whatever. I just really didn't know who she was or anything. I didn't get why she was all over social media and she's in Ohio and I'm in here in New York. And I'm like, what is that? 
why am I hearing about this lady? And then you put the video up. They didn't hear from her. And then I saw her response. She's still cocky as heck. And I was like, well, aren't the feds looking yeah. for you? Like, today she went live and she's just talking and gaslighting people still. She's still, everything that the people said and they were like, please, you know, you're telling us, let me educate you. She was still being that same person. One case you didn't know, she was paid 400, charging $400 an hour on, did you see her paperwork? She's charging $400 an hour and she's not supposed to charge that. What were you doing, right. ma'am? It's like a nerve. What were you done squandered the money and you and, sitting here trying to count Lori Lightfoot's, you know, pockets. Exactly. And nobody was at that wherever she was live. There was a couple of people that mm -hmm. was empty. That was empty. And I wonder how much money it took to set that up for nobody really to show up. It sounded like her people, her staff, whatever, that's under her payroll benefiting off of her scams. Were yeah. There. It definitely sounds like there's a <laughs> lot more people in that town. The fact that they kept her in that position they kept in that position for a reason. Yes. And I think the lady from um, the Be Love, you ever heard like she made that song? Oh, yeah. That, I believe that they're from that same area, if I'm not mistaken. I uh -huh. believe, because I was like, where did I hear that from? Where did I hear? I, I could be wrong, but I think that that's where I, I heard about that town before was from, from them. And they got up out of that town. Funny enough, I believe it was just a couple of years ago. So I wonder if that is something happened to do with that. But it was just like, it's too much going on. The fact that she's still in office, I'm like, okay. I'm just waiting for the next time where I see the post T, lovely T posted, because you're my, I keep up, <laughs> <laughs> I keep up with everything. I mean, new source. <laughs> yes, because everything else is so colluded and everything, you know, and it seems so biased and, I, and I'm not, I don't know enough about it to, you know, dive in or anything like that. So I feel like you, you break it down so well and get me to understand like, okay. And it makes me get more involved. You know, now I get up and I vote T I vote, I vote every little <laughs> thing in my neighborhood that's going on. I vote, I vote, I vote because I realize now how important it is to be yeah. active in these polls. People think only the election matters. No, your local elections affect you more than anything national. Exactly. At this point, the national elections are just a joke and it's a key key. But it's really the local that will affect you before than even the national ones. Like basically, he, he didn't put her in a booth where it was like VIP. I don't know if yeah, that makes sense. I know. I, I heard about that. Um, yeah, he was there with the baby mother, the twins, and his kids, and she had to go sit elsewhere. She was not allowed in that booth. So a lot of their relationship was mainly for social media, but behind the scenes, she really wasn't that girl. She really wasn't. She was hyping it up way more than he was. Because remember, she was the same one with that sign time. I, hey, Poppy, and all that other stuff. And he was thanking, he thanked everybody but her. He didn't even claim mm -hmm. her. He, and then he didn't even claim her when it was a chance. He called her a shorty wop or whatever, which mm -hmm. is cold for basically like F buddy, you yeah. know. And I'm just, and then everybody that's looking, you know, that I'm seeing some of these tapes and it's like, they're completely missing the point. And that's why I be, you know, I'm thinking to myself, this is a lot of the reason why how a lot of these men are getting over on y'all because y'all don't use like sense. Like mm -hmm. he was using Carisha and I bet you it's going to come out later on that whatever contract she signs, she's not getting paid well. She, because he's never done right financially by anybody. Mm. and yeah. it'll probably come out a while because my thing is if you really was benefiting why are you talking about being broke and are you current what is your financial standing she never spoke about what he did to elevate her like what did you learn from this mogul what did you pick up because you were saying it benefited the both of us no it didn't she mm -hmm. took the bigger hit in the sense of like, yeah, he's probably going to go to jail or he's probably, you know, he's being investigated, but that was never the plan. But she was never going, she's not even his type if you think about it. No. But she was the perfect pick because she comes from nothing. She mm -hmm. had to get a BBF. You look at a lot of the women that he was tied to before mm -hmm. her, even if they didn't really have talent. And this is no shade to cast him because I don't really think she's talented. But those right. women were actually very, very beautiful, very, very attractive. They're like models. He likes the model type physique. Right. And Carisha. Oh, yeah. 
Carisha is, and this is no shade to her. I think that she's attractive, but she's attractive to more so like maybe a hood dude and or whatever. Perfect. But right, she does not have the appeal aesthetically, and that's one of the reasons why I think he was really mad. Because if you think about it, Cassie would have been his probably like his his uh the girl that they probably garnered the most money, being that he was you know. I, I, it's disgusting to say, but he was pimping her out because of mm -hmm. how nice she looked where Carisha had to go get a lot of work done and Cassie really didn't need all of that. She was just a naturally attractive girl. And what, what I wanted to say is, first of all, Carisha is never beating these allegations. That interview was the waste of my freaking time, child. She didn't... We wanted to know about you being a, a pink Power Ranger girl. We wanted to know about you carrying this, this powder. We wanted to know about... <laughs> she evaded everything, yo. And mm -hmm. it was like, for it to be so carefully crafted, first of all, the whole JT thing, <clears throat> we didn't need that. Y'all already had a sit-down talk with JT, and, the, and that sit-down talk was um, a mess in itself. It felt like they sat down and just um, double teamed the girl. JT. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people felt that Carisha was throwing JT under the bus in the interview. She was. Mm -hmm. um, I felt for it. Like, I've never seen that interview until this situation. And I'm glad um, that the people that did cover this situation did put the interview right back to back. Because I felt so bad for JT. Everyone is judging. Carisha super hard mm -hmm. and they're not looking at the broad scope of the whole situation. I feel like everybody is judging her with a Diddy lens instead of judging her as city girl Miami. Mm -hmm. Now I understand the crossing of how she incorporated Diddy into her brand, but if you listen to her explanation and JT's explanation, they both are saying the same exact thing that they both no longer were connecting. It mm -hmm. wasn't working in the group for whatever reason, both of them decided to go separate ways and figure out how to do things instead of trying to figure out how to do it together. Um, and I feel like Miami doesn't get enough credit for holding down the city girls. So that is very true. Why JT yeah. was mm -hmm. Exactly. Like JT wouldn't have a career today if it wasn't for young Miami, period. And she doesn't get the credit or the appreciation for that. Mm -hmm. And if you look at like coming from a group, like because I have experience like a and R in, when you look at the broad scope of things, if mm -hmm. JT wanted to be in the group, she would have figured out a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, Carisha party with Ari and JT partied with her people and then at some point for the night they all came together but she came with the raving girl she didn't come with Carisha mm. so that's why I was like so hey I asked my ex I was like, Yo, who's this girl because Raven is gorgeous I'm like yeah. who's this girl and she's, he's like oh that's Raven she's a, um, a model girl too or whatever and that got me onto her Instagram and if you go to her Instagram, she is everywhere with JT. I mean, birthday trip. Um, she had mm -hmm. a launch, a makeup launch in New York. She's there. And this is all while she's selling city girls. Mm. That's really interesting. That's some tea because I had no idea the JT Raven connection at all. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm like, that's strange that everyone just, you know, blames her yeah. for that, that now, sort of connection. Now, in the chat, somebody says, wasn't Raven helping recruit underage girls because she's a I, model as well? I have no clue, but I know her man got a charge, and I wouldn't be with no man that not only cheated on me several times, but ended up getting a rape charge out of it. There's no way in hell I'm broadcasting that anywhere. Yo, what's up? Baby, Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.